Hello, welcome to another haircut video. People wanted to see this a lot. It's always so surprising to me because I am not good at doing hair. I mean, I have been cutting my own hair since I did the shag haircut video three years ago. I do not miss going to the salon at all, like I said in my last video, my last hair video. I just hate having to make conversation. And it's just not a fun time at the salon. It's time consuming, it's expensive, it's not fun. So, <laughs> today I'm gonna do the butterfly haircut because I have been wanting so much more dramatic layers and I feel like it's a much more um, low maintenance style for the summer. I want to be able to style my hair really fast like just do the ends and I want to go a bit shorter, a bit lighter on the weight of my hair which is really heavy because I have a lot of it. So I will link the videos I watched in my description. So you want to section your hair into two uh, ponytails which I'm trying to do right now. Um, and I'm really bad at sectioning my hair, so please excuse this. I'm trying my best. I think that is okay. You know what? I think I actually did pretty good, except for the back. It's just a memory. good see how much hair I have like oh my goodness and you just pull it all to the front and you tie it like so unicorn <laughs> why does this actually look good <laughs> okay and now for the back section I'm just going to quickly comb through my hair a little bit I already did this in the shower but you really want to make sure everything is neat as can be. Oh my god, I missed this strand. Looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna leave this out because I don't think I'm gonna cut it this short. Anyways, so this is what you have to do. Um, just put two ponytails like this. Ta-da! <laughs> and <laughs> this is so funny, like with my these pants, I feel like. <laughs> In the videos I watched, they said to make sure you're following this angle when you pull it straight and when you cut it. So it has to be like this. I think I'm just going to... <gasps> I need to measure how much I'm taking off first. I don't want to go too short, but is that too much? See my hair is already thinned out a bit, uh, a lot, but I'm just going to do kind of measure with my fingers this much, which is less than I, um, than I actually want to go, but I will be using thinning shears and point cutting at the end because I have thicker hair. So I'm gonna go less. I'm gonna do like this much. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. I don't have those big hair cutting scissors, so that's why it was a bit choppy. And <laughs> now I'm gonna do some point cutting. Now I'm gonna take now I'm gonna take these thinning shears 
and sort of thin out the ends like this. Oh my gosh, like this already. Just about the last two inches-ish of hair. Oh my god, with it so neat like this, you can really see. Okay, now on the back. One, two, three. That's about right, or you can also take your front um, hair to measure and I will also be doing less because I don't want to accidentally do more in the back than in the front <laughs> okay I feel like I could go shorter in the back but I think I need to see it first Taking this off, I think I can, I can go shorter. I am feeling a lot of weight in my hair still, so, but oh my god, look at these layers. Yes, look at this. This is the part in my shag video where I was like, oh my god, I'm a hairstylist. Oh my god, I'm a hairstylist. So you want to make sure the front, oh my god I can't see now because I have so much hair, like I actually cannot see, but it's supposed to be like this. I think I want to go a little bit shorter, but I am really liking these layers. Okay, I made it a bit more even this time. I think last time I put, I left way too little hair in my back section. Um, that's why I felt, I feel like the layers weren't as prominent in the back, but now I don't want to go too much shorter, so let's do this. movement look at this oh my god I'm so excited to style this I can see all the layers and since I really like went to town with this um, it is feeling a lot lighter and like it'll move around a lot can't really tell how much I need to blend it but I think I'll just go in with the thinning shears a bit and sort of do some light thinning at the ends the back of my hair always feels more chunky so I don't really know okay I'm back from lunch and I had my bangs in a roller so you can already see some body there <laughs> um, but I can see the layers a lot more and I did fix this part a bit more because it felt like it was thicker than the left side but now you know honestly even without styling this this looks really good which is amazing if I had a round brush I would do a blowout but I don't and since it's so many layers I'm not going to do like the whole roller look because I feel like I don't need that um, but I'm just going to be flicking out the ends like you would with a, with a blowout it would probably look more airy that way but we're working with what we have which is a straightener so Ta-da! Super simple, flicking out like that. Like, if I were in a hurry, 
I wouldn't even section my hair like this. I would just go in and flick like all the ends outwards. Ta-da! You just go like this and then outwards. By only doing the ends, you'll really be able to define all the layers and you would be able to see them really well in the end too. Like it all comes together in the end. And I'm just so excited to see that. Like the birds are excited too. It is kind of annoying because my left side of my hair doesn't always curl that well um, because I am right-handed I guess that's why so on the left side I always have to do it a few more times or do it for longer I'm sweating uh. <laughs> Why do I have more layers on the right side? What's that about? I haven't styled my hair like this in a long time without rollers all over my head. So that's why it looks like this. I feel like I look like, you know, those royal white cats that live in castles. Like, <laughs> but I love it though. Let me give you a spin. Um, like I said, my left side might be worse. Okay, I did have to fix it, but just don't make fun of me. Ta-da! Got all those layers. I feel like a princess. And I would still maintain these curls the same way when I sleep. I put it up in a bun like this with a scrunchie, like sort of a, like this. And this still all stays in. So that would be good. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you've been wanting to do a butterfly haircut and this popped up when you recommended this is a sign for you to do it <laughs> that's all for today i will see you next time